Lance Flair signing in to my subscribers. What up? And if you know around these parts, just stopping by to see how I do things around here. What up? What up? So I just got done watching a video by Curtis King TV titled Should Rappers Stop Making Music Videos? And let me tell you right now, I don't agree with that statement at all. So I look at music videos like this. It's a great way for artists to show their creativity and they're documenting their journey where they at right now. That's the way I look at music videos. But me personally, I think music videos hold a lot of value in today's time as well. I think a lot of artists that's trying to come up, they go about things in an old way where I see a lot of music artists that's on the rise and trying to come up. They just go to their hood and shoot a music video with their homies behind them. And in today's time, that's probably not getting a lot of people who want to come up the outcomes they want. Get somebody who know about storyboarding. Get someone who know about scripting. Get someone who know about wardrobes, locations, because you're trying to put yourself out in the best light possible. If you're just doing something simple, it's all right, I'm rapping in my hood and I'm gonna pay the music video person to come out and shoot that. Why I wanna watch you rap in your hood when I could watch my favorite rapper, Jadakiss, rap in this hood? And I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, you're not a better rapper than Jadakiss. So I just think you gotta tap into it and really get locked down. Look at the baby, the way he took to those music videos. A lot of us kept watching his music videos because, hey, you knew who was gonna kill it. The same way with Jordan Lucas. When he make a music video, I'm tapped in because I'm like, I know the storytelling in this gonna be on a different level. Like when I saw that Broski video and he just make videos, it's just like on a whole different level, period. So I think those two artists, they didn't make music videos as good as they are. I don't think their growth would have happened the way it did. And I just think too, with being an up and coming rapper, you got to invest in yourself. Go after different video directors. I know a lot of times people get so caught up and they keep using the same people that they have been using where you probably started using this video director and okay, you like the way he do things, but you just so stagnant at this level where you at, where it's like, all right, I'm getting my few hundred views and you know, maybe even a few thousand. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. But you probably gotta reach out to these different video directors to get in their circles, to see how they do things and you know, get the knowledge from other people. You might have to reach out to a YC Imogen and let them know your budget or a GT Films. These guys who just can help bring your vision to a, different spot and you can learn how they do things but when you get in the music video i think you gotta step to the director and let them know hey i want five breakups where i could put this on TikTok, instagram youtube shorts where i could put it on different platforms you gotta let them know for it could benefit yourself as an artist that's on the come up you might get these high quality music videos and when you go had these shows and concerts and open mics, you might have your table in the back where you over there after you perform and you like, yo, this is my table. I'm selling my EP, my video EP. And it's what, $30 or, you know, $25 where you can get the support and it's a product that you can feel proud about, not nothing like, oh, I just do it together, cheapest quality I could get. And I swindled the people out of the money. So because you want to always put out the best things you can put out because this is a representation of you. So, but even look in the background back there, I got that Big Crit record back there. And I went to his pop-up shop. I don't even have a record player. I was thinking like, I want to support Big Crit. I know if I just purchase this t-shirt, I know after I wash it one, two, three, four times, it's going to start fading and I'm going to probably get rid of it. So I was like, you know what? Let me cop this record, and he autographed it right there in front of me. And I'm like, look at that, it's back there, and it's just doing this thing. Also, like I know a lot of people talking about TikTok, Instagram, and making content just from your phone and your music videos from your phone. I'm all with that, I support that as well, but 
I still think real music videos is king. I'm like, man, definitely throw that in there with, you know, making your little TikTok videos and Instagram video reels and YouTube shorts. But I'm all with, man, I'm rhyme with. Get your music videos. I think music videos just great because it shows that you're serious. So when I go to your page and I'm looking at what you do and I just see like, man, this person don't invest the time and to itself. This person don't invest the money into themselves. You already know the people looking at you, the fans or the people that you want to get to be your fans or supporters, they could see that. They probably see that a lot faster than what you think. So I think music videos is still a great way to grow your audience and your fan base. Let me know below in the comments. Do you think Music videos is the old way of doing things. And until next time, peace.